are you doing? Now over here, I have two coins, an American half dollar and an old English penny. Now what I'm gonna do is place the American half in my right hand, the old English penny in my left. Close my hands. All you gotta tell me is where is the American half dollar? That's right, in my right hand and in my left is the old English penny. Now I'll take this one step further, we'll take the two coins, placing them in the hand, I take out one of the coins. It is in fact the old English penny. Place it in the right hand, all I've got to do is lay my hands on the table, which causes you to blink and allows me a second to switch the silver coin for the copper coin. Let's do it again. I'll take the two coins over here, placing them in the hand. I'll take out one of the coins, which is the old English penny. Place the English penny in the hand, which has now I've now got the American half in my left, the English penny in my right. All I've got to do is put my hands on the table, which makes you blink, but this time they don't switch. They vanish. Yo, how you doing? I hope you enjoyed that little effect at the beginning there. That was called the stand up sucker copper silver routine out of Michael Rubenstein's coin magic, which is what I'm going through at the moment. And I'm gonna be covering some more effects today. And I hope you enjoy these two effects that I've got. It's in the spellbound section. And that is coming up. So there you have it, I've got a couple of effects today from the Spellbound section for Michael Rubenstein's Coin Magic. Now this first one he performs all the time. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you after. Okay, this is interesting. All I've got to do is take a little bit of magic dust from my shirt. Watch, there it is. You can't see it, but it's there. I'll take it, I'll place it in the hand, a little blow and it becomes a solid object. In this case, it's an American half dollar. You can see it's got tails on one side, heads on the other. A little wave and it becomes a copper coin. A little rub comes to silver. Watch that silver coin change to copper. All I do is wave and it becomes a silver coin. I take the silver coin, place it in the hand, put it in the pocket. Watch again, it comes straight back. Place the coin in the hand, a little rub. Watch, that vanishes. It's now a piece of dust. So there you have it, a nice spellbound routine there. And that was called Ultimate Lint. And that is on page 148 of Michael Rubenstein's book. And he performs that one all the time. It's a nice little effect there. Let's get into this next one. It's not easy to learn, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It does require a bit of practice, still practicing, but I hope you get the gist of the trick. Hope you enjoy it, see you after. Here's a nice one. This one uses your imagination. And all you require, watch, an imaginary coin. Imagine there's a head and a tails. Here we are, look, watch, I just rub it on the elbow, it becomes a visible coin. In this case, an American half dollar. All I've got to do is take the American half in the hand, rub it on the elbow, and it disappears and comes back over here. Watch again, if I take that coin and I rub it on the arm, it vanishes and ends up over here. American half dollar, watch the silver coin. If I take the silver coin and rub it over here, it will vanish completely. But watch another imaginary coin over here. But this imaginary coin is slightly different because if I rub this imaginary coin, it will become a copper coin. And then it becomes silver, back to copper, back to silver. All I will do is cast a shadow over the coin and it becomes copper. If I rub that copper coin too hard, it will become a Chinese coin. But watch the Chinese coin with a hole in the center. All I've got to do is blow and it becomes a copper coin. And all I've got to do is take this copper coin in the hand, I squeeze, it becomes silver. Watch the silver coin vanish, and now you're left with two empty hands. A little bit of magic in your imagination. 
And that one was called Imagine Coin. Ooh, you just imagine a coin, produce the coin, and there you have it, full of little spellbound routines there. You start with nothing and you end with nothing. And that's on page 152. That's also in the spellbound section. Now, there's a lot of effects in the book that I've passed over due to the fact I haven't got the apparatus, coin purses, etc. Definitely a book you can skip back to and refer to and have a look at other moves and other effects. A lot of the effects are not easy to learn. There's a lot of moves, a lot of slides, and do require a bit of practice. I really like that, and that's what a book that I want, something that's gonna challenge you. You don't want it to be easy. It's for more intermediate to advanced. I don't think it's really for a beginner. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Subscribe, and make sure you smash that like button, because I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, press the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. Well, they're fun, different, and I don't do tutorials because basically magic isn't about that. If everybody done tutorials, there'd be no magic. There'd be no trickery sleight of hand. I'm blabbering on now. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, notification bell. All of that. Yeah, I think that's it. And I'll be seeing you. In the next one.